Hi, thanks for tuning in to yet another day of Creepy Christmas, my Vlogmas project. I've been really sick and really busy, which are not ideal conditions for recording video, so took a little while off, but now I'm back, which is good because I was like 10 short on this project anyway. So now, not only did I not have to write one myself, winning. Um, <laughs> but now I actually will be able to continue through the 31st. So, hope you enjoy this one today, kids. I look forward to sharing the rest of them with you. Yeah, so this exciting little piece is entitled Santa Came by Peter Oliver Wonder. As usual, you'll be able to find out more of his work in the description, so please do that. Just like every year, Mrs. Claus gave him a kiss on the cheek before he got into his magic sleigh. It was the most action he got from her. Her lady parts had dried up centuries ago and were left undesirable and unusable to Santa. The sexual frustration built up all year long. The night before Christmas was his one opportunity to get laid by a real woman. He tossed his big, fluffy red sack into the passenger seat and saddled up beside it. As he took the reins in his hand, the smell of reindeer farts filled his nose and lungs. The old hag always fed them a protein-rich meal the night before to ensure they had the strength to pull his lard ass around the entire world. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, he shouted through the flurry of snow to the deer. Their hooves dug into the snow and the sleigh began to inch forward. Santa gave a quick snap of the reins and gave a loud hey -ah, followed by another snap. Speed began to build up, and the bitter cold bit at Santa's exposed face. The breathing of the deer was already becoming labored, sending plumes of frozen breath into the air. Mush, he shouted as the lead deer began its ascent into the cold night sky. As the sleigh began to rise, he reached into his magic sack and pulled out some hot buttered rum to sip on as he made his way to his first stop. Beside him on the bench sat the magical naughty or nice list. He picked it up and flipped through the first few pages, underlining names he remembered from previous years. These were the children that were either incredibly nice or insufferably naughty. After he got through the children's last names that began with by, he sat the list down on the bench one more and returned the pen to his right hip pocket beside the pouch of forget dust. That's what he used on the rare occasion a child strayed from bed while he was delivering the presents. Now, everyone knows Santa for his jolly demeanor around the holidays. What isn't known by many is from where his jolliness is derived. Once, there was a time when giving toys to children that had little was enough to keep the old man happy all the time. Bringing such joy to all the little boys and girls in the world made him feel good down to his very soul. As of late, children had become spoiled rotten. They no longer behaved like well-mannered children. They threw tantrums until they got what they wanted. Throughout the year, they collected mounds of toys, video games, and all manner of wonderful things from the parents they tormented so. Worse yet, he had to continue to give them things on Christmas despite their actions. After all, the Christmas joy was the source of Santa's power. Without it, he'd wither up and die. The rotten vermin of the world got rewarded for their greed, and there was nothing Santa could do to change it. Just because he had to deliver sophisticated equipment to undeserving puke sacks didn't mean he couldn't find some Christmas joy of his own. It all began innocently enough. 
One Christmas Eve night, before most children of the world had become the monsters we know today, but after the missus's snatch had dried up, a downtrodden Santa was making his yearly trip around the globe to deliver joy, though he felt little of his own. It was in Belgium where it happened. He remembers it as though it were yesterday, despite it having transpired nearly two hundred years ago now. There was an upstairs fireplace in the widow's house. Him going down that chimney was a mistake, but a very fortunate one. The young mother of four was having a sleepless night and thinking of how her husband used to put her to sleep when she was so restless. When Santa exited the fireplace, she was trying to recreate the moment by herself. Her eyes were clenched shut as she neared climax. Her passionate moans enticed Santa, he walked silently to her bedside. Are we being a naughty girl? Santa asked. The widow was more than willing to accept his gift that night, and it was a gift that was given year after year. It was what Santa looked forward to most every year. Fucking someone that wasn't several hundred years old was a gift he could never match. The arrangement lasted long after the widow's children had grown and moved out on their own. One year, he came down the chimney with a rock-hard erection to find a couple sleeping in the bed. Trouble was, Santa didn't notice anything different until it was too late. He stripped down silently in order to surprise the widow. He freed himself of his big red coat to expose his chest with sagging man tits and a field of gray hair. He managed to get his belt undone and off without making a single jingle. As he slid his pants down, the pen from his pocket shook loose and dropped onto the wooden floorboards. The sound of the metal pen striking the planks caused what sounded like a deafening boom as it resonated throughout the silent house. The bed began to show movement beneath the covers, and Santa sat on the edge of the bed and looked down at the face on the pillow. The man's face startled him enough to cause him to fall forward and land face down on the floor beside his pants. "'What the fuck is this?' grumbled the angry, half-asleep man. He looked down at the bare ass of the fat old man and was instantly disgusted and filled with rage. What the fuck is this? He shouted again as the adrenaline began to wake him. He dropped his legs over the edge of the bed, stood to his feet, and proceeded to kick Santa in the ribs. Santa rolled to his side after the blow and found himself nose to nose with the pen that had fallen earlier. He was shaken and angered and confused because the widow was not there, waiting with her legs spread wide. As the anger coursed through him, he snatched up the pen and sprang to his feet. "'Who the fuck do you think you are?' shouted the homeowner at the naked intruder. Without thinking, Santa swung the pen, stabbing the man in the jugular. Blood shot out all over the headboard and onto the sheets, as well as the face of the sleeping young woman, who was still in bed. After the blood sprayed her face, her eyes shot open wide with terror as she stared up at the man that was stark naked, save for the red stocking cap atop his head. He pulled the pen from the man's throat and let him drop to the floor. S Santa? She stammered almost inaudibly. Santa looked at her, down at his still hard cock, and then down at the pants, which were still in a wad on the floor near a pool of blood. He said nothing as he reached down to pick up his pants. He did not put them on, but rather reached into his pocket and retrieved a small yellow pouch within. He untied the ribbon that held it closed. His fat fingers entered the bag, retrieved a pinch of the dust, and tossed it into the face of the terrified young woman. Her eyes shut as she instantly fell back to sleep. After retying the bag, he put it back in the pocket from whence it came and put one foot into a pant leg before stopping. Killing the man that lay at his feet had been a rush like nothing he had before experienced. He still clutched the blood-covered pen and a menacing smile spread across his face. 
He dropped his pants and climbed on top of the woman who was sleeping comfortably beneath the sheets. He put his nose to her cheek and inhaled her scent. His right hand brought the pen up under her chin and slowly stuck it into her throat. The blood slowly dribbled from the hole and onto the bed sheets where it mixed with the blood of her husband. Santa's eyes rolled back in ecstasy. Once he finished, Santa put his suit back on and went through the rest of the house to make it look like an actual home invasion had taken place. It was less work than leaving gifts for the children, who were most definitely on the naughty list. The milk and cookies looked awfully tempting, but he knew there would be more in the next house, and the house after that, and so on. As soon as he was satisfied that he would not be incriminated in anything, he went on his merry way. Christmas could continue now that Santa came. Yeah, so that was unsettling. <laughs> Um, if you'd like to read more of this author's work, please make sure you check out the links in the description. If you want to see more creepy Christmas videos, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I will be continuing these throughout the month.